This past Saturday, our lector Kelsey organized a soccer game for a group of young adults, a number of them who had just come from doing homeless ministry together. Uh, but they invited me to come along, and so I played, and I'm still a little sore <laughs> as a result. Um, but beautiful thing about soccer and a lot of team sports is that you know, different people have different gifts and talents and abilities. Um, and so they do better at different positions on the field, whether as the goalie or on defense or offense and midfield, uh, different gifts and abilities in different positions, but all playing on the same team. Today we celebrate the feasts of St. Peter and St. Paul, who were very different men in their personalities and in their gifts and talents, but they were united as one uh, on the team for Christ, serving him uh, and his church. Perhaps Peter, St. Peter, is more like the goalie on defense. Um, you know, nothing getting past him. His confession of faith is on which, the rock on which our church is built, as we heard in the gospel today. And so keeping us close to Christ through that confession of faith, keeping us free from error or heresy or wandering far from Christ. St. Paul, perhaps we can see him as more as a striker on offense, scoring goals as the apostle to the nations, uh, winning many souls through Christ, through his preaching and the beautiful letters that we have, and him just going all over the world, trying to bring as many souls as possible to Christ. But despite their different gifts, their different roles, uh, they're, they're working together to serve Jesus and his church. St. Augustine has this to say about why we celebrate these two saints on the same feast day, the same day. Both apostles share the same feast day, for these two were one. And even though they suffered on different days, they were as one. Peter went first, Paul followed. And so we celebrate this day made holy for us by the apostles' blood. Let us embrace what they believed, their life, their labors, their sufferings, their preaching, and their confession of faith. And so let us today uh, give thanks to God uh, for these two men and also for the role that Jesus calls us to have in his church. And we reflect on what it is that Jesus asks of us, but also that and to give him thanks for the variety of gifts we have and that we serve together as one. Not just by the apostles' blood, the martyrs' blood, which unites them as brothers, but the blood of Jesus Christ himself. We're made one through sharing of the Eucharist, made members of one body of Christ, and it's his, his blood that courses within each one of us. So let us celebrate this great feast day, celebrating the diversity of gifts that God gives his church, and give him thanks and praise that we might be able to serve him together united as one.